Welcome to today's topic of 5 ways to push yourself and get it done. In today's message we're going to dive into the topic of motivation and productivity. Let's face it, we all have those days where we just can't seem to get anything done. We feel unmotivated, overwhelmed, and stuck in a rut. But I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. We've all been there, and the good news is, there are ways to push yourself and get things done, even when you don't feel like it. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to overcome procrastination and achieve your goals with a renewed sense of motivation and determination. So if you're ready to turn things around and start making progress towards your dreams and aspirations, then let's get started. Trust me, you won't regret it. So sit back, grab a pen and paper, and get ready to take some notes because by the end of this video, you'll have the tools and strategies to push yourself and get it done. Let's start with number five. The fifth way to push yourself and get things done is to take action and be consistent. You see, my friends, action is the key ingredient to achieving any goal or dream. Without action, our ideas and plans remain just that, ideas and plans. But when we take action, we bring those ideas to life and make them a reality. And the best part is, action is something that is completely within our control. We may not always be able to control external circumstances, but we can always control our own actions. So why is it that so many people struggle with taking action? The answer is simple. Fear. Fear of failure. Fear of rejection. Fear of the unknown. But let me tell you something, my friends. Fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real. It is a figment of our imagination holding us back from reaching our true potential. But the good news is, fear can be overcome. And the way to overcome fear is to take action. Now taking action may sound simple, but it is not always easy. It requires discipline, determination, and a strong sense of purpose. It means pushing through our comfort zones and facing our fears head on. It means being willing to fail and learn from our mistakes. It means having the courage to try again and again until we succeed. But let me tell you, my friends, the rewards of taking action far outweigh the risks. When we take action, we open ourselves up to new opportunities and experiences. We learn and grow in ways we never thought possible. And most importantly, we move closer to our goals and dreams. Now taking action is important, but it is not enough. We must also be consistent in our actions. Consistency is the key to building momentum and achieving long-term success. It means showing up day after day, even when we don't feel like it. It means staying committed to our goals and not giving up when things get tough. You see, my friends, success is not a one-time event. It is a series of small, consistent actions that lead to big results. It is the daily habits and routines that we cultivate that determine our level of success. And that is why consistency is so important. It keeps us on track and moving forward even when the going gets tough. So how can we become more consistent in our actions? The first step is to have a clear vision of what we want to achieve. When we have a clear goal in mind, it becomes easier to stay focused and motivated. The second step is to create a plan of action. This means breaking down our goal into smaller, actionable steps and setting a timeline for each step. The third step is to hold ourselves accountable. This can be done through tracking our progress, sharing our goals with others, or even hiring a coach or mentor to keep us on track. But perhaps the most important step in becoming more consistent is to develop the right mindset. We must believe in ourselves and our abilities. We must have a positive attitude and be willing to put in the work to achieve our goals. And most importantly, we must be patient and trust the process. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is success. It takes time, effort, and consistency to achieve our dreams. Now to number four. The fourth way to push yourself and get it done, and let me tell you, it is a game changer. This one simple concept has the power to transform your life and take you to heights you never thought possible. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic of embracing discomfort. We live in a world where comfort is king. We seek it in every aspect of our lives, from our jobs to our relationships, even in the food we eat and the clothes we wear. We have become creatures of comfort, and in the process, we have lost sight of the fact that discomfort is necessary for growth. Think about it. When was the last time you did something that made you uncomfortable? I'm not talking about the discomfort of sitting in traffic or waiting in line at the grocery store. I'm talking about the discomfort that comes from pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. 
the discomfort that comes from taking risks and trying new things. The truth is, growth and success cannot exist without discomfort. It is the stepping stone to achieving our goals and becoming the best version of ourselves. As the saying goes, life begins at the end of your comfort zone. So why do we shy away from discomfort? Why do we choose to stay in our safe and cozy bubble? The answer is simple. Dear, we are afraid of the unknown, of failure, of rejection. We let our fears hold us back from reaching our full potential. But what if I told you that embracing discomfort is the key to conquering those fears? What if I told you that by embracing discomfort, you can unlock a whole new level of success and happiness in your life? You see, when we step out of our comfort zone, we are forced to confront our fears and insecurities. We are forced to face the things that hold us back and to push through them. And in doing so, we build resilience, courage, and confidence. We learn that we are capable of so much more than we ever thought possible. Think back to a time when you did something that made you uncomfortable. Maybe it was giving a presentation in front of a large audience, or trying a new sport, or even asking someone out on a date. Whatever it was, I bet you felt a rush of adrenaline and excitement. And even if things didn't go as planned, I bet you learned something valuable from the experience. That's the beauty of discomfort. It pushes us to grow and learn. It opens doors to new opportunities and experiences that we would have never had if we stayed in our comfort zone. And the more we embrace discomfort, the easier it becomes. We become more resilient and adaptable. And we start to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. But Jim, I'm not a risk taker. I like my comfort zone. It's safe and familiar. And I understand that. I really do. But let me ask you this. Do you want to look back on your life and wonder what if? Do you want to regret not taking that chance, not trying something new, not pushing yourself to be the best you can be? I didn't think so. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to make a list of all the things that make you uncomfortable. It could be anything from public speaking to trying a new hobby. And then I want you to pick one thing from that list and commit to doing it. It doesn't have to be a big thing. Start small. Maybe it's reaching out to someone you admire for a mentorship, or signing up for a dance class. The point is, take that first step out of your comfort zone. And I promise you, once you do, you will feel a sense of accomplishment and pride that will fuel you to take on the next challenge. And before you know it, you will be living a life filled with growth, success, and fulfillment. Now number three. The third way to push yourself and get things done is staying motivated. As a personal development guru, I have seen firsthand the power of motivation in achieving success in all areas of life. And I can tell you with absolute certainty that without motivation, all our efforts will be in vain. So what exactly is motivation? Some people think of it as a fleeting feeling or a burst of energy that comes and goes. But I believe that motivation is much more than that. It is the driving force that compels us to take action, to keep going when things get tough and to push through obstacles and challenges. It is the fire within us that fuels our desire to achieve our goals and dreams. Now you may be wondering, how can I stay motivated? How can I keep that fire burning within me? Well my friends, I have some good news for you. Motivation is not something that you either have or don't have. It is something that you can cultivate and nurture within yourself. And today I will share with you three powerful ways to stay motivated. The first way to stay motivated is to have a clear vision. As the saying goes, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Without a clear vision of what you want to achieve, it is easy to get lost, distracted, and demotivated. So take some time to think about what you truly want in life. Your goals, dreams, and aspirations. Write them down, visualize them, and make them as clear and vivid as possible. But having a vision is not enough. You must also have a compelling reason why you want to achieve that vision. What is the purpose behind your goals? What will achieving them mean to you? How will it impact your life and the lives of those around you? When you have a strong why, you will have the motivation to keep going even when things get tough. The second way to stay motivated is to surround yourself with positive influences. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If you want to stay motivated, you must surround yourself with people who inspire and uplift you. These could be friends, family members, mentors, or even virtual mentors such as books, podcasts, or videos. 
But be careful who you allow into your inner circle. Stay away from negative, toxic, and pessimistic people who will only bring you down and drain your motivation. Instead, seek out those who have achieved what you want to achieve and learn from them. Surround yourself with people who will challenge you, encourage you, and support you on your journey toward success. The third and final way to stay motivated is to take action. As the saying goes, action cures fear. Many people wait for motivation to strike before they take action, but the truth is, motivation often comes after we take action. So don't wait for the perfect moment or for everything to fall into place before you start working towards your goals. Take action now, even if it's just a small step, and you will find that motivation will follow. But taking action is not enough. You must also be consistent in your actions. Consistency is the key to success in any endeavor. It is what separates those who achieve their goals from those who don't. So make a plan, set a schedule, and commit to taking consistent action towards your goals every day. And when you feel your motivation waning, remind yourself of your vision, your why, and the positive influences in your life, and keep pushing forward. Now I know that staying motivated is not always easy. There will be days when you feel tired, discouraged, and unmotivated. But remember, motivation is not something that you have or don't have. It is something that you can cultivate and nurture within yourself. So when you feel your motivation slipping away, take a moment to reconnect with your vision your why, and your support system, and then take action, even if it's just a small step. I promise you that small step will lead to another, and another, until you have achieved your goals and dreams. Moving on to number two, I want to talk to you about creating a plan of action. You see, we all have dreams and aspirations, but without a plan, they remain just that. Dreams. A plan is like a road map. It gives us direction and helps us stay on track. It is the blueprint for our success. And yet, so many of us fail to create a plan of action. We get caught up in the daily grind, the hustle and bustle of life, and we forget to take a step back and think about where we are heading. But I am here to tell you that if you want to achieve your goals and make your dreams a reality, you must have a plan. You must take the time to sit down and map out your journey. And I know it may seem like a daunting task, but let me assure you, it is worth it. Because as the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So how do we create a plan of action? Well, the first step is to identify your goals. What is it that you want to achieve? Is it financial success, better health, a fulfilling career? Whatever it may be, write it down and be specific. Don't just say, I want to be rich. Instead say, I want to earn $100,000 in the next year. Next, break down your goals into smaller actionable steps. This is where the real work begins. You need to figure out what you need to do to achieve your goals. What skills do you need to acquire? What resources do you need? What actions do you need to take? Write it all down. And remember, your plan should be flexible. It is not set in stone, and you can always make adjustments along the way. Now here's the important part. Set a timeline. Without a timeline, your plan is just a wish list. You need to have a deadline for each of your goals and the steps you have outlined to achieve them. This will give you a sense of urgency and keep you motivated. And make sure your timeline is realistic. Don't give yourself too much time, but also don't be too hard on yourself. But creating a plan is not enough. You must also take action. You see, a plan without action is just a piece of paper. It is up to you to take the necessary steps to make your plan a reality. And I know taking action can be scary. It requires us to step out of our comfort zone and face our fears. But remember, the greatest rewards lie outside of our comfort zone. And here's a little secret. The hardest part is getting started. Once you take that first step, the rest will fall into place. So don't wait for the perfect moment because it will never come. Take action now. And if you need a little push, remember this quote from Mark Twain. The secret of getting ahead is getting started. I want to address a common misconception about plans. Many people believe that once they have a plan, everything will fall into place, and they will achieve their goals effortlessly. But let me tell you, that's not how it works. A plan is just the first step. The real work begins when you start executing that plan. Success is not a destination, it is a journey. And along that journey, you will face challenges, obstacles, and setbacks. But that's okay. It's part of the process. 
The key is to stay committed to your plan and keep pushing forward. As Winston Churchill said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Accountability is crucial. You need someone to hold you accountable for your actions, whether it's a mentor, a friend, or a coach. Someone who will keep you on track and remind you of your goals when you feel like giving up. But ultimately, it is up to you to stay committed to your plan and take action every day. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about making progress. And even if you fail, don't give up. Learn from your mistakes, make adjustments, and keep moving forward. And lastly, the number one way to push yourself and get things done is setting clear and specific goals. Goals are the fuel that drives us towards our dreams and aspirations. They give us direction, purpose, and motivation. Without goals, we are like a ship without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the vast ocean of life. But with clear and specific goals, we can steer our lives towards success and fulfillment. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, I already have goals. But let me ask you this. Are those goals specific? Can you measure your progress towards them? Do you have a timeline for achieving them? If the answer is no, then you are setting yourself up for failure. Setting clear and specific goals is the key to success. It allows you to focus your energy and efforts towards a specific target. It gives you a roadmap to follow and helps you stay on track. So how do we set clear and specific goals? The first step is to be crystal clear about what you want. You cannot achieve something if you don't know what it is. So take some time to think about your goals and write them down. And don't be afraid to dream big. Once you have your goals written down, the next step is to make them specific. This means defining exactly what you want to achieve, how you will measure your progress, and by when. Let me give you an example. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I want to earn $100,000 in the next 12 months. This goal is specific measurable, and has a timeline. And remember, it's better to set a high goal and fall short than to set a low goal and achieve it. When you aim for the stars, even if you fall short, you will still reach the moon. But setting clear and specific goals is not enough. You must also take action. A goal without action is just a dream. It is up to you to take the necessary steps to make your goals a reality. And remember, success is not a destination, it is a journey. Along the way, you will face challenges and setbacks. But it is how you handle them that determines your success. So take some time to think about your goals, make them specific, and start taking action. And remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about making progress. So keep pushing yourself, stay committed to your goals, and don't give up, because the only way to fail is to stop trying. I am thrilled to be here with you today. Are you someone who struggles with reaching your dreams? Do you often find yourself feeling stuck and unsure of how to move forward? Well, my friend, you are not alone. In today's message, I want to share with you five powerful ways to reach your dreams. These are the same strategies that have helped me and countless others turn our dreams into reality. You see, I believe that everyone has the potential to achieve their dreams, but it takes determination, hard work, and a clear plan of action. And that's exactly what I am here to provide for you today. So, if you're ready to take control of your life, and start making your dreams a reality, then I invite you to keep reading. Because by the end of this message, you will have the tools and motivation you need to turn things around and start living the life you've always imagined. So let's dive in and discover the five ways to reach your dreams. Let's get started. Starting with number five, which is reaching your dreams by continuously learning and growing. You see, my friends, reaching your dreams is not a one-time event. It is a journey that requires constant growth and learning. It is about consistently pushing yourself to be better, to do better, and to achieve more. Now some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I'm already successful. I have achieved my dreams. Why do I need to continue learning and growing? My answer to that is simple, because there is always room for improvement. As human beings, we have the incredible ability to keep growing and evolving, and if we do not use that ability, we are doing a disservice to ourselves and to the world. Let me tell you a story. When I was a young man, I had a mentor who taught me the importance of continuous learning. He told me, Jim, if you want to be successful, you must be a lifelong learner. You must always be hungry for knowledge and never be satisfied with what you already know. Those words stuck with me, and I have lived by them ever since. 
I have always made it a point to dedicate at least an hour every day to learning something new. It could be reading a book, attending a seminar, or even just having a conversation with someone who has a different perspective than mine. And let me tell you, my friends, that hour has been the most valuable hour of my day. It has allowed me to constantly grow and improve both personally and professionally. Now some of you may be wondering, but Jim, I don't have the time to dedicate an hour every day to learning. My response to that is, make the time. We all have 24 hours in a day, and it is up to us how we choose to use it. If you truly want to reach your dreams, you must make learning a priority. And trust me, the rewards will be worth it. Continuous learning not only helps us grow and improve, but it also opens up new opportunities. As we learn and expand our knowledge, we become more valuable to ourselves and to others. We become more equipped to handle challenges and take on new ventures. And that, my friends, is the key to reaching our dreams, being open to new opportunities and constantly growing to make the most of them. Another important aspect of continuous learning is that it keeps us humble. No matter how successful we may become, there is always something new to learn. And by acknowledging that, we keep our egos in check and remain open to learning from others. As the saying goes, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. Now I want to address a common misconception about learning. Many people believe that learning is only about gaining knowledge and acquiring new skills. But the truth is, learning is also about unlearning. It is about letting go of old beliefs and habits that are holding us back from reaching our full potential. It is about being open to change and growth. So, set aside time to read, attend seminars, listen to podcasts, or have meaningful conversations. And most importantly, be open to learning from anyone and everyone. You never know where your next lesson may come from. Which leads us to number four, which is reaching your dreams by surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. You see, we are greatly influenced by the people we surround ourselves with. They can either lift us up or bring us down. They can either inspire us or discourage us. They can either help us reach our dreams or hold us back. That is why it is essential to carefully choose the people we allow into our lives. Now you may ask, what exactly do I mean by positive and supportive people? Let me break it down for you. Positive people are those who have a positive outlook on life. They see the good in every situation, and they radiate positive energy wherever they go. They are the ones who believe in possibilities, not limitations. They are the ones who see the glass as half full, not half empty. Surrounding yourself with positive people will not only uplift your spirits, but it will also help you develop a positive mindset, which is crucial in achieving your dreams. On the other hand, supportive people are those who genuinely care about your well-being and your success. They are the ones who cheer you on, celebrate your victories, and offer a shoulder to cry on during tough times. They are the ones who believe in your dreams even when you doubt yourself. Surrounding yourself with supportive people will not only give you a sense of belonging and security, but it will also provide you with a support system that will push you towards your goals. Now, you may be thinking, but Jim, what if I don't have any positive or supportive people in my life? Well, my dear friend, let me tell you this. You have the power to choose the people you surround yourself with. You have the power to distance yourself from negative and toxic individuals. You have the power to seek out and build relationships with positive and supportive people. It may not be easy, but it is necessary. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people also means being one yourself. Be the kind of person you want to attract into your life. Spread positivity and support to those around you. Be the light that shines in someone else's darkness, and I guarantee you, the right people will be drawn to you. Now you may also be wondering, what about the people I can't choose to be around? Like my family, or my co-workers? My answer to that is this. You may not be able to choose your family or co-workers, but you can choose how you respond to them. You can choose to set boundaries, and not let their negativity affect you. You can choose to be a positive influence in their lives. And who knows, your positivity and support may just rub off on them. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people, it's not just about having a good time or being popular. It is about creating a supportive environment that will help you grow and thrive. It is about surrounding yourself with people who will challenge you, inspire you, and push you to be the best version of yourself. It is about surrounding yourself with people who will help you reach your dreams. Which leads us to number three, 
which is reaching your dreams by taking action. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have been taking action, and nothing seems to be happening. My dreams still feel so far away. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. Taking action is not a one-time thing. It is a continuous process. It is a journey that requires dedication, perseverance, and most importantly, consistency. You see, many people have big dreams, but only a few are willing to take action consistently. They may start off strong, but when they face obstacles and challenges, they give up. And that's where they go wrong, because obstacles and challenges are a part of the journey towards reaching our dreams. They are not meant to stop us, but to make us stronger and more determined. So, what does taking action really mean? It means setting clear and specific goals. It means creating a plan and taking consistent steps towards achieving those goals. It means being disciplined and staying committed to your goals, even when things get tough. It means being proactive and not waiting for opportunities to come to you, but creating them for yourself. It means putting in the hard work and not being afraid to fail, because failure is just a stepping stone towards success. But most importantly, taking action means taking responsibility for your own life. It means understanding that you are the only one in control of your dream and your destiny. You cannot rely on anyone else to make your dreams come true. It is up to you to take action and make it happen. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't know where to start. I don't know what actions to take. Well my friends, let me tell you this. The first step is always the hardest. But once you take that first step, the rest will fall into place. And the best way to take that first step is by setting a SMART goal. A SMART goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, if your dream is to start your own business, your goal could be to save a certain amount of money within a specific time frame to invest in your business. And then you break that goal down into smaller actionable steps, like cutting down on unnecessary expenses, taking up a side hustle, or learning new skills that will help you in your business. And then you take consistent action towards achieving those smaller goals, which will ultimately lead you to your bigger goal of starting your own business. But remember, taking action also means being adaptable. Sometimes our plans may not work out the way we want them to. And that's okay. We need to be flexible and open to change. We need to be willing to adjust our plans and take a different approach, because the only way to fail is by giving up. As long as we keep taking action, we are moving forward towards our dreams. Don't wait for the perfect moment, because there will never be a perfect moment. The time is now. Take that first step towards your dreams, and keep taking consistent action. And I promise you, one day you will look back and realize that all your hard work and determination has paid off. You will be living your dream life, and inspiring others to do the same. Which leads us to number two, which is reaching your dreams by creating a plan. You see, having a dream without a plan is like having a ship without a rudder. It may set sail, but it will never reach its destination. A plan is the roadmap that guides us towards our dreams. It gives us direction, purpose, and a clear path to follow. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't know how to create a plan. I'm not a strategist or a business guru. Well let me tell you my friend, creating a plan is not rocket science. It is simply a matter of breaking down your dream into smaller achievable goals, and then creating a roadmap to reach those goals. The first step in creating a plan is to identify your dream. What is it that you want to achieve? Is it financial success? A fulfilling career? A happy and healthy family? Whatever it may be, write it down and make it clear. Your dream should be specific and measurable. For example, instead of saying, I want to be rich, a smart goal would be, I want to earn $1 million in the next five years. Once you have identified your dream, the next step is to break it down into smaller achievable goals. These goals should be realistic and aligned with your dream. For example, if your dream is to earn 1 million in the next 5 years, your goals could be to increase your income by 20% each year, or to start a side business that generates an additional $50,000 per year. And then comes the important part, creating a roadmap to reach those goals. This is where you need to be strategic. Look at each goal and think about the steps you need to take to achieve it. What skills do you need to develop? What resources do you need? Who can you reach out to for help? Write down each step and create a timeline for when you want to achieve them. But remember, a plan is not set in stone, 
It is a flexible document that can be adjusted and modified as needed. As you progress towards your goals, you may encounter roadblocks or new opportunities that require you to make changes to your plan. And that's okay. The important thing is to keep moving forward and to never lose sight of your dream. Now let me share with you some tips to help you create a successful plan. First, be specific and detailed. The more specific your plan is, the easier it will be to follow and achieve. Second, be realistic. Don't set goals that are too far-fetched or unattainable. This will only lead to disappointment and frustration. Third, be accountable. Share your plan with someone you trust and ask them to hold you accountable. This will keep you motivated and on track. And lastly, remember to celebrate your successes along the way. Every time you achieve a goal, take a moment to acknowledge and celebrate it. This will give you the motivation and confidence to keep going towards your dream. Which leads us to number one, which is reaching your dreams by setting clear and specific goals. You see, setting goals is not just about writing down a list of things you want to achieve. It is about creating a roadmap, a blueprint, a plan of action that will lead you to the life you desire. Goals are the foundation upon which you can build your dreams and turn them into reality. Now let me ask you this. Have you ever embarked on a journey without knowing your destination? Would you get into a car and start driving without a clear idea of where you want to go? Of course not. And yet, many of us go through life without a clear destination in mind. We have vague ideas of what we want, but we never take the time to truly define and articulate our dreams. And that, my friends, is where goals come in. Goals give us direction, they give us purpose, and they give us something to strive for. But not just any goals, clear and specific goals. Vague goals like, I want to be successful, or, I want to be happy, are not enough. They lack clarity and specificity, making it difficult for us to create a plan of action to achieve them. We need to be specific about what we want and when we want it. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So, how do we set clear and specific goals? First and foremost, we need to be honest with ourselves. What is it that we truly want? What are our deepest desires, our passions, our dreams? Take the time to reflect on these questions and write down your answers. This will be the first step towards defining your goals. Next, we need to make our goals smart. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Let me break it down for you. Specific means clearly defining what you want to achieve. Measurable means setting a way to track your progress. Attainable means setting realistic goals that are within your reach. Relevant means aligning your goals with your values and priorities. And time-bound means setting a deadline for when you want to achieve your goals. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, a smart goal would be, I want to become a successful entrepreneur by starting my own business within the next two years. Do you see the difference? The second goal is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. And this is the kind of goal that will lead you towards your dreams. But setting goals is not enough. We also need to have a plan of action to achieve them. Think of your goals as a destination, and your plan is the route you will take to get there. Break down your goals into smaller actionable steps. Create a timeline, and hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, take action every single day towards your goals. I want to make one thing clear. Setting goals does not guarantee success. There will be obstacles, challenges, and setbacks along the way. But that's okay. It's all part of the journey towards your dreams. What matters is how you respond to these challenges. Will you give up, or will you keep pushing forward? Remember, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Goals give us direction, purpose, and a plan of action. So, take the time to define your dreams, make them smart, and create a plan to achieve them. And always remember, the journey towards your dreams may not be easy, but it will be worth it. So go out there and make your dreams a reality. Thank you. Are you someone who struggles with setting and achieving your goals? Do you often find yourself feeling stuck and unsure of how to move forward in life? If so, you're not alone. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle and lose sight of our goals and dreams. But here's the good news. You don't have to stay in this cycle of frustration and disappointment. In today's message, I want to share with you five powerful ways to set and achieve your goals. 
These are strategies that I have personally used and have seen countless others use to turn their lives around and achieve their wildest dreams. So if you're ready to take control of your life and start making your goals a reality, then keep reading. It's time to leave behind the old habits and patterns that have been holding you back and step into a new, more fulfilling way of living. Let's dive in and discover the power of goal setting together. Starting with number 5. Set and achieve goals by celebrating your successes. Many of us have this misconception that success is only achieved when we reach our end goal. But I'm here to tell you that success is not a destination. It is a journey. It is the small victories along the way that truly make the journey worthwhile. When you set a goal for yourself, you are essentially creating a roadmap for your life. And just like any journey, there will be bumps in the road, detours, and unexpected challenges. But it is important to remember that every step you take towards your goal is a success in itself. It is a step closer to your ultimate destination. So why is it important to celebrate these small successes? Well, for starters, it keeps us motivated. When we acknowledge and celebrate our progress, it gives us the fuel to keep going. It reminds us that we are capable and that our hard work is paying off. But more importantly, celebrating our successes allows us to appreciate the journey. We often get so caught up in reaching our end goal that we forget to enjoy the process, to be present, and to take in all the lessons and experiences that come with it. By celebrating our successes, we are able to pause and reflect on how far we have come and the growth we have experienced. Now, I want to make one thing clear. Celebrating your successes does not mean throwing a big party every time you achieve a small milestone. It can be as simple as taking a moment to acknowledge your progress, treating yourself to something you enjoy, or sharing your success with loved ones. The important thing is to make it a habit to celebrate along the way. Another benefit of celebrating your successes is that it helps you build momentum. When you acknowledge and celebrate your progress, it gives you the confidence and motivation to keep going. It creates a positive cycle of success where each small victory fuels the next one. And let me tell you, there is no better feeling than looking back and seeing how far you have come. The sense of accomplishment and pride that comes with celebrating your successes is truly unmatched. It gives you the strength and determination to push through any obstacles that may come your way. But perhaps the most important reason to celebrate your successes is that it reminds you of your why. Your why is the reason behind your goals, your purpose, your motivation. It is what drives you to keep going when things get tough. And by celebrating your successes, you are constantly reminded of your why and the importance of your goals. Which leads us to number four. Set and achieve goals by staying accountable. Now I know what you might be thinking. I already know about setting goals. I have a vision board, I write down my goals, and I even have a plan to achieve them. And that's great. But let me ask you this. How many of those goals have you actually achieved? How many times have you fallen short of your own expectations? The truth is, setting goals is just the first step. But staying accountable is what will truly make a difference in your life. So what does it mean to stay accountable? It means taking full responsibility for your actions, your thoughts, and your results. It means being honest with yourself and holding yourself to a higher standard. It means not making excuses, but instead finding solutions. It means having the courage to face your fears and push through them. It means being committed to your goals and never giving up, no matter how tough the journey may be. Now let me share with you the number one reason why most people fail to achieve their goals, and that is because they lack accountability. They set goals, but they don't hold themselves accountable for taking the necessary actions to achieve them. They make excuses, they blame others or external circumstances for their failures, and they never take ownership of their lives. And that, my friends, is a recipe for disaster. So how can we stay accountable and ensure that we achieve our goals? The first step is to be crystal clear about what you want. You see, many people have vague goals like, I want to be successful, or, I want to make more money. But what does success or making more money mean to you specifically? What does it look like? How will you know when you have achieved it? The more specific and detailed your goals are, the easier it will be to hold yourself accountable. The second step is to have a plan. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. You need to have a roadmap that will guide you towards your goals. Your plan should include specific actions, timelines, and milestones, and most importantly, it should be flexible enough to adapt to any challenges or obstacles that may come your way. 
The third step is to track your progress. This is where most people fall short. They set their goals, they have a plan, but they never track their progress. And as a result, they have no idea how far they have come or how far they have to go. Tracking your progress not only helps you stay accountable, but it also gives you a sense of accomplishment and motivation to keep going. The fourth step is to find an accountability partner. This could be a friend, a family member, or a coach. Someone who will hold you accountable and keep you on track. It's easy to let ourselves off the hook. But when we have someone else counting on us, it becomes harder to make excuses. Your accountability partner will also provide support, encouragement, and valuable feedback to help you stay on the right track. And the fifth and final step is to celebrate your wins. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. This will not only boost your confidence, but also remind you of how far you have come and motivate you to keep going. I urge you to take these steps and stay accountable in your journey towards achieving your goals. Staying accountable is what will keep you on the right path towards your dreams and aspirations. Which leads us to number three. That and achieve goals by setting realistic and achievable goals. Now you may be wondering, why is it so important to set realistic and achievable goals? Well let me tell you, setting unrealistic goals can lead to disappointment and frustration. It can also demotivate us and make us feel like we are not capable of achieving anything. On the other hand, setting achievable goals gives us a sense of accomplishment and motivates us to keep pushing forward. So how do we set realistic and achievable goals? The first step is to understand that our goals should be in alignment with our values and beliefs. We must ask ourselves, what truly matters to us? What do we want to achieve in our lives? Once we have a clear understanding of our values and beliefs, we can then set goals that are in line with them. The second step is to break down our goals into smaller, more manageable tasks. This not only makes our goals seem less daunting, but also allows us to track our progress. By breaking down our goals, we are able to focus on one task at a time and give it our full attention. This not only increases our chances of success but also helps us stay motivated. When we set goals that are too far-fetched or beyond our capabilities, we are setting ourselves up for failure. It's like trying to run a marathon without any prior training. It's not impossible but it's highly unlikely that we will succeed. On the other hand, setting realistic goals gives us a sense of direction and purpose. It also allows us to plan and strategize effectively, increasing our chances of success. But let me make one thing clear. Setting realistic goals does not mean settling for mediocrity. It simply means setting goals that are challenging yet attainable. We must learn to push ourselves out of our comfort zones, but not to the point where we feel overwhelmed and discouraged. Another important aspect of setting realistic and achievable goals is to have a plan in place. As the saying goes, the goal without a plan is just a wish. We must have a clear roadmap of how we are going to achieve our goals. This includes setting a timeline, identifying potential obstacles, and coming up with strategies to overcome them. A well-thought-out plan not only increases our chances of success, but also helps us stay focused and motivated. Furthermore, it is important to remember that our goals may change over time. As we grow and evolve, our priorities and values may also shift, and that's okay. We must be open to revisiting and adjusting our goals accordingly. This does not mean we have failed. It simply means we are adapting to our changing circumstances. In addition to setting realistic and achievable goals, it is equally important to celebrate our successes along the way. This not only boosts our confidence, but also serves as a reminder of how far we have come. We must learn to acknowledge and appreciate our efforts, no matter how small they may seem. Lastly, I want to emphasize the importance of perseverance. Setting and achieving goals is not an easy journey. There will be challenges and setbacks along the way. But it is during these difficult times that we must remind ourselves of our why. Why did we set these goals in the first place? What is driving us to achieve them? And most importantly, we must never give up. As the saying goes, the only way to fail is to quit. Which leads us to number two. Set and achieve goals by creating a plan of action. Setting goals is one thing, but having a plan to achieve those goals is what separates the dreamers from the achievers. As the great Benjamin Franklin once said, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So let me ask you this. How many of you have set goals for yourself but failed to achieve them? I can see a few hands raised. And why is that? Is it because your goals were not achievable? 
or is it because you didn't have a plan in place to reach those goals? I believe it's the latter. You see, without a plan, your goals are merely wishes. They will remain a figment of your imagination, and you will never see them come to fruition. Now, I want you to imagine yourself standing at the base of a mountain. You have a clear view of the peak, and you know that's where you want to be. But without a map or a guide, how will you reach the top? You may take a few steps in the right direction, but eventually, you'll get lost, and you'll give up. The same goes for your goals. You need a roadmap, a plan of action to guide you towards your desired destination. So how do you create a plan of action? The first step is to be crystal clear about your goals. What do you want to achieve? Be specific and write it down. The more specific you are, the more likely you are to achieve it. For example, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, say, I want to lose 10 pounds in the next three months by following a healthy diet and exercising four times a week. Once you have a clear goal in mind, the next step is to break it down into smaller achievable tasks. This will help you to stay motivated and on track. Going back to the weight loss example, your smaller tasks could be meal planning, grocery shopping for healthy food options, and scheduling your workouts. Now here's the key to success. Take action. Your plan of action is worthless if you don't put it into action. It's like having a map but not following it. You'll never reach your destination. So make a commitment to yourself to take action every day, no matter how small the task may seem. Consistency is the key to achieving your goals. But let me warn you, there will be obstacles along the way. You may face setbacks, challenges, and even failures. But don't let them discourage you. Instead, see them as opportunities to learn and grow. As the saying goes, smooth seas do not make skillful sailors. Embrace the challenges and use them to become a better version of yourself. Another crucial aspect of creating a plan of action is accountability. Surround yourself with people who will hold you accountable and support you on your journey. Share your goals and your plan with them, and ask them to check in with you regularly. This will not only keep you accountable, but also provide you with the necessary motivation and encouragement when you need it. Lastly, regularly review and adjust your plan of action. As you progress towards your goals, you may realize that some tasks are not as effective as you thought, or you may need to add new tasks to your plan. Don't be afraid to make changes and adapt as needed. Remember, a plan is not set in stone, and it should be flexible enough to accommodate any changes or challenges that may come your way. Which brings us to number one. Set and achieve goals by defining them clearly. You may be wondering, why is this the number one way? Well, let me tell you, my friends, without a clear and specific goal in mind, it is impossible to achieve success. Imagine going on a road trip without a destination in mind. You would just be driving aimlessly, not knowing where you're going or how to get there. The same principle applies to our goals in life. We must have a clear destination in mind and a roadmap to get there. So let me ask you, what are your goals? Do you have a clear picture of what you want to achieve in your life? Or are you just drifting along, going wherever life takes you? It is time to take control of your life and define your goals clearly. And let me tell you, my friends, it is not as difficult as it may seem. The first step in setting and achieving your goals is to dream big. Yes, you've heard me right. Dream big. As the great Walt Disney once said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Do not limit yourself by setting small and easily achievable goals. Instead, think about what you truly want in life, what would make you happy and fulfilled. Do not be afraid to dream big because only then can you achieve greatness. Once you have your big dream in mind, it is time to turn it into a specific goal. A goal that is clear, measurable, and achievable. For example, if your dream is to become a successful entrepreneur, your goal could be to start your own business within the next year, with a specific target revenue and number of clients. This goal is clear, measurable, and achievable. Now, it is important to remember that defining your goals is not just about the end result. It is also about the journey. So it is crucial to set smaller goals along the way that will lead you to your ultimate goal. These smaller goals act as milestones and keep you motivated and on track. The next step is to write down your goals. This may seem like a simple task, but it is extremely powerful. Writing down your goals makes them tangible and holds you accountable. It also serves as a constant reminder of what you are working towards, especially during challenging times. But my friends, writing down your goals is not enough. 
you must also make a plan to achieve them. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So break down your goal into smaller action steps and create a timeline for each step. This will give you a clear roadmap to follow and help you stay focused and motivated. Now let me ask you, what is the one thing that stops most people from achieving their goals? It is fear. Fear of failure. Fear of rejection. Fear of the unknown. But my friends, let me tell you, fear is just an illusion. It is not real. It is just a thought in our minds that we have the power to overcome. So do not let fear hold you back from defining and achieving your goals. Instead, use it as fuel to drive you towards your dreams. Another important aspect of setting and achieving goals is to surround yourself with like-minded individuals who support and motivate you. As the saying goes, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So choose your circle wisely. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who push you to be better, and who believe in your dreams. My friends, I want to remind you that setting and achieving goals is not a one-time task. It is an ongoing process. As you achieve one goal, set a new one. Keep pushing yourself to reach new heights and never settle for mediocrity. Remember, the only limits we have are the ones we set for ourselves. In closing, dream big, turn your dreams into specific goals, write them down, make a plan, surround yourself with the right people, and most importantly, do not let fear hold you back. Believe in yourself and your dreams, and never give up. As the great Zig Ziglar once said, if you can dream it, you can achieve it. So go out there, define your goals and make your dreams a reality. Thank you. Are you someone who struggles with setting and achieving your goals? Do you often find yourself feeling stuck, lost, or overwhelmed with your goals? If so, you are not alone. In today's message, I want to reassure you that many of us face similar challenges. However, the good news is that it doesn't have to be this way. By listening to this message, you can turn things around and start making progress towards your dreams and aspirations. I have spent decades studying and teaching the principles of success and goal setting. I can confidently say that the following five ways I am about to share with you have helped countless individuals achieve their goals and live fulfilling lives. So, get ready to take notes and apply these strategies in your life. Let's dive in and learn how to set and achieve our goals. Starting with number five. Set goals and achieve them by taking action. Now I understand what some of you may be thinking. Taking action is easier said than done. With so many responsibilities and distractions in our lives, it can feel overwhelming. However, what is the alternative? To sit and do nothing, letting life pass us by as we watch from the sidelines. No, my friends, we must take action if we want to achieve our goals and live fulfilling lives. So how do we take action? The first step is to have a clear and specific goal. We must know exactly what we want to achieve. This will give us direction and purpose. As the saying goes, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. Once we have a clear goal in mind, we must break it down into smaller actionable steps. This allows us to make progress and see tangible results. It's like building a house. You can't do it all at once. You have to lay one brick at a time. And before you know it, you have a beautiful home. Now I know that taking action can be scary. We may fear failure or rejection. But let me tell you, my friends, failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their life. The key is to not let failure stop us, but to use it as a learning experience and keep moving forward. Another important aspect of taking action is to have a sense of urgency. We must create a sense of urgency within ourselves to achieve our goals. To achieve our goals, it's crucial to set deadlines and hold ourselves accountable. As the saying goes, a goal without a deadline is just a dream. We must also eliminate distractions that hinder our progress whether it's social media or negative influences. Being intentional with our time and surrounding ourselves with supportive individuals is key. Lastly, persistence is essential. Taking action requires perseverance, pushing through obstacles and setbacks. While it won't always be easy, the results are worth it. Moving on to number four, setting goals and achieving them by staying motivated. How do we maintain motivation, especially in the face of challenges? Here are some tips. Firstly, have a clear and specific goal that excites you with a measurable deadline. For instance, instead of saying, I want to lose weight, specify, I want to lose 10 lbs in three months. This provides a clear target and timeline. Secondly, 
Understand your why. The reason behind your goal, which fuels your motivation during tough times. Surrounding yourself with positivity is crucial. Choose uplifting individuals and avoid negativity. Celebrate your progress and small victories along the way, acknowledging how far you've come. Maintaining a positive mindset is key. Replace negative thoughts with affirmations and visualize success. Having a plan and taking consistent action are vital. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Small, consistent steps lead to significant results. Instead of waiting for motivation, create it by taking action consistently. Lastly, setbacks and failures are a part of the journey toward success. Do not let them discourage or deter you from your goal. Instead, use them as learning opportunities and keep moving forward. As long as you stay motivated and keep taking action, you will eventually reach your goal. This brings us to number three. Setting goals and achieving them by creating a plan. Setting a goal is like planting a seed. It has the potential to grow into something great. But without a plan, it will simply wither away. A plan is like the soil that nourishes the seed and helps it grow into a strong and fruitful tree. So how do we create a plan that will help us achieve our goals? The first step is to clearly define your goal. Be specific and write it down. This will give you a clear direction and something to work towards. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. Next, break down your goal into smaller achievable steps. This will make your goal less overwhelming and more manageable, providing you with a sense of progress as you tick off each step along the way. Now, it's time to create a timeline. Set a deadline for each step and for your overall goal. This will help you stay accountable and focused. Remember, the goal without a deadline is just a dream, so set a timeline and stick to it. Identify potential obstacles and challenges that may come your way. This will help you prepare for them and come up with solutions in advance. Remember, obstacles are not roadblocks. They are just detours that may slow you down, but should not stop you from reaching your destination. Another crucial aspect of creating a plan is to have a support system in place. Surround yourself with people who believe in you and your goals. Seek advice and guidance from those who have already achieved what you are striving for, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Taking action is essential. A plan is only effective if you put it into action. Don't just sit on your plan, go out there and make it happen. Take consistent action towards your goals and don't let anything or anyone stand in your way. Finally, regularly review and adjust your plan. As you take action towards your goals, you may encounter new challenges or opportunities that may require you to make changes to your plan. Be open to making adjustments and don't be afraid to pivot if necessary. Remember, a plan is not set in stone. It's a flexible guide that can be modified as needed. This brings us to number two. Setting goals and achieving them by making your goals specific and measurable. Have you ever set a goal that was too vague? Maybe you said, I want to be successful, or I want to be rich. While these goals may seem admirable, they lack the specificity and measurability needed for success. Success is not a destination. It is a journey. And in order to reach our desired destination, we must have a clear roadmap with specific and measurable goals. What does it mean to have specific goals? It means defining exactly what you want to achieve, being clear and concise about your goals. For example, instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I want to become a successful entrepreneur by starting my own business. Do you see the difference? The latter is more specific and gives you a clear direction to work towards. Now let's delve into measurability. This entails being able to track your progress and determine if you are on the right path towards achieving your goals. Measurability is crucial because it allows you to make adjustments and improvements along the way. Returning to our previous example, if your goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, you can measure your progress by setting specific milestones such as launching your business within a certain time frame, reaching a certain number of customers, or achieving a certain level of revenue. Having specific and measurable goals also helps us to stay motivated. When you have a clear picture of what you want to achieve and how you will measure your progress, it becomes easier to stay focused and determined. It gives you something tangible to work towards and a sense of accomplishment when you reach each milestone. However, setting specific and measurable goals is not enough. We must also have a plan of action to achieve them. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So, once you have your specific and measurable goals, it's time to create a plan to achieve them. This plan should include the steps you need to take, 
the resources you will need, and a timeline for each milestone. Let me introduce you to a powerful strategy for setting specific and measurable goals. The SMART method. SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. This method ensures that your goals are not only specific and measurable, but also achievable and, uh, realistic within a certain time frame. Let's break down each component of the SMART method. Specific. Your goals should be personal and something that you truly want to achieve. Measurable. Your goals should have a quantifiable measurement, such as a specific number or time frame. Achievable. Your goals should be challenging yet attainable based on your current skills, resources, and circumstances. Realistic. Your goals should be realistic and within your reach with hard work and determination. Finally, your goals should have a deadline to give you a sense of urgency and help you stay on track. Setting specific and measurable goals is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. As you achieve one goal, you should set new ones to continue growing and improving. And as you gain more experience and knowledge, you can set bigger and more ambitious goals. This brings us to number one. Set goals and achieve them by writing down your goals. Writing down your goals is the most crucial step in the process of goal setting. It gives them a sense of importance and urgency, making a commitment to yourself. It creates accountability and increases the likelihood of taking action towards achieving your goals. Secondly, writing down your goals helps you to clarify and define them. Many times we have vague ideas of what we want to achieve, but we have not clearly defined them. When you write down your goals, you are forced to think about them in detail. You have to be specific about what you want to achieve, how you will achieve it, and by when. This clarity will help you to focus and work towards your goals with a clear vision. Thirdly, writing down your goals helps you to stay motivated. It is easy to get distracted and lose sight of our goals when we do not have them written down. But when you have your goals written down, you can refer to them whenever you feel demotivated. It serves as a constant reminder of what you are working towards and why it is important to you. It will keep you going during difficult times and help you to stay on track. Fourthly, writing down your goals helps you to break them down into smaller achievable tasks. Many times we have big goals that seem overwhelming and impossible to achieve. But when you write them down, you can break them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. This will give you a sense of progress and accomplishment as you tick off each task, bringing you closer to your ultimate goal. Tithly, writing down your goals helps you to track your progress. When you have your goals written down, you can monitor your progress regularly. You can see how far you have come and what still needs to be done. This will help you to make necessary adjustments and stay on track towards achieving your goals. Lastly, writing down your goals helps you to celebrate your achievements. When you achieve your goals, it is essential to celebrate and acknowledge your hard work. Writing down your goals will help you to see how far you have come and how much you have accomplished. It will give you a sense of pride and satisfaction, motivating you to set even bigger goals and achieve them. Now that you understand the importance of writing down your goals, let me share some tips on how to do it effectively. Firstly, write your goals in the present tense as if you have already achieved them. This will help you to visualize your goals and believe that they are achievable. Secondly, be specific and write down the details of your goals. The more specific you are, the more likely you are to achieve them. Thirdly, set a deadline for each goal. This will give you a sense of urgency and help you to stay focused. Fourthly, write down your goals somewhere you can see them every day, like on a vision board or a sticky note on your mirror. This will serve as a constant reminder of what you are working towards. So I urge you all to take out a pen and paper and start writing down your goals. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, and that step is writing down your goals. Thank you.